kind of the hangover. That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. But you have more important things to worry about. Hmm. Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. What could be keeping them? Ach, die Schleuse, die ist außer Betrieb. The water lock, that was broken. Could this be it? Oh my. What happened to the water lock? Well, whatever the cause, I'm thankful. To both of you, you've spared me another sleepless night. Well, muss hoffen, dass es nur daran liegt. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. Natürlich. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. Yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Oh dear, I'm not sure where to begin. Hmm. Well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but his grumpy. eyes are always bright and curious, like a small boy's. And his palms are quite coarse from all the field work, but he's quite gentle. Yeah, it's grumpy. You can't go around forever sure feeling grown men's hands. If you want to find her husband, you'll need more concrete information. It's always a challenge to describe the person you know best in the world. Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame, and he has longish white hair, usually a bit uncombed, you might say wild even. The lieutenant pulls out his notebook and begins jotting down the woman's description. One other thing, he'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him, even if he's not out in the reeds, you know, just in case. We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this autumn. Not the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow. By a dating agency, I'm ashamed to say. I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident. And he'd just divorced. We hit it off and, well, here we are. She's skipping over some important parts. Perhaps you'll find out more later. I hope I've been useful. Oh, yes. A zoologist. A cryptozoologist, to be more precise. It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts and urban legends. 
that's uh, one opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. She's used to playing off such insults casually, but they still affect her. My apologies, ma'am. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology, one specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless, and frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. She's completely internalized her husband's struggles. They are her own. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. Da macht ein bisschen Druck, hä? Well, it's a phasmid, technically, but... Ah, yes. Phasmatodia. A diverse group of insects whose bodies resemble twigs, leaves, that sort of thing. Ghost insects. Colloquially. Hm. Gut, dann, dann ist ja gut. Ich dachte schon, ich bilde mir ein, dass der, dass der was anderes will. Oh yeah, here comes the interesting. Where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insul Indian coast. Hence its name, the Insul Indian Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering the phasmid with us officers. I knew it. We're going to be chasing made-up insects with cryptozoologists. It's not made up, officer. I can assure you. Mm-hmm. Officer. It's simply elusive, so much so that most establishment zoologists doubt it exists at all. Well, some teenagers making out in the reed saw one. They, they didn't know what it was, of course, but there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with a ghost insect that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. Of course, most phasmid sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the Insul Indian phasmid perfectly, and they didn't even know what they were looking at. Enthusiasm has wiped the worry from her face. Her eyes sparkle behind her glasses. I suppose I have something of a personal connection to the Insul Indian Phasmid. All scientists have their little hobby horses. <laughs> Not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? Oh, I doubt it. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. Die coole Fähigkeiten. Oh, jetzt wird sie ausrasten. Jetzt wird sie Redefluss ohne Ende. Yes, it can blend in almost perfectly among the reeds. It's how it stayed hidden all these years, centuries even. Oh, ich dachte da kommt die richtig in in Wallung. Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. It is very special. Morel can explain it all much better. I wish you could hear him describe it. Then you'd understand, I'm sure. Vielleicht könntest du sie dazu überreden, dir etwas über coole Kryptiden zu erzählen. 83%? Nö, no, ja dann. You're an enthusiastic idiot. Oh. But you're still an idiot. We don't have time for Cryptozoology 101. Let's get back to work, shall we? Oh, yeah. Tschüss.
Tschüss. So, dann gehen wir aber hier bei den Kunden vorbei. Der Officer wollte es ja. Detective disorientated. Are you still wondering where you are? This is Martinez, in case you've forgotten. I advise you not to overstay your welcome. This is die von draußen. Her entire character has shifted. This young woman is cold as mm, ice. Die geht mal no, I am not a gardener. I'm a legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. So let's get to it. You're looking for Titus Hardy? You think he has information that will help you? Maybe he does. That's Titus. Talk to him, but know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming, nothing official. The district of Martinez does not recognize your authority to make arrests. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. Aggressive? You make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock workers. Just dock workers? Do dock workers spy on the police? We let you off easy, miss. Don't think it will happen again. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishol. Twenty fat men in the Occident are stealing it all, and you're their bodyguards. Fuck yeah. They're here. Trying to. So ask what you came to ask, or get back to your commanders. Hmm. <lacht> Privatisierung ist cool und witzig, na danke. Look, a comedian. Do your job, ask your questions, then get out of Martinez. Strange. It's as if people don't believe a cop could be a socialist revolutionary. Mhm, mm wir sind schließlich Kommunist. Hat mal erst in so einer, in so einem, naja, Selbstgespräch, dass wir derjenige sind, der den Kommunismus wieder, wieder aufbaut oder irgendwie so. Like I already told you, I'm a legal counselor. Do you have hearing problems? What you want is of no significance, officer. Don't test your authority. In Martinez, you are no one. Hmm. What's... What are we going to do to you? <laughs> <coughs> the union isn't going to do anything to you. It is not a crime syndicate. It is a labor organization. Uh -huh. Goddamn right it is. If anything, it is the RCM who do things to people. But we digress. Okay, Titus. This is where you say you're a bit. Detective. Precinct 57's finest scans the room, leaving the speaking to you. He trusts you, maybe against his better judgment, but he does. <laughs> 